Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerdlings of all ages, welcome to this week's Tavern a Brawl. Now, before I get started, congratulations to Tiago from Brazil. An email is on its way to you because you have won the free Hearthstone cards that I've been giving away every week with these Tavern Brawl videos. If you want to win some yourself, you can. Go to the video description, click the link, enter the competition. You have until one day before the next Tavern Brawl begins to enter. Best of luck to you. It could be yours next week. But let's move on to this week's Brawl. Good old-fashioned RNG fest for this one. One, no getting around it. It is shift con and uh, very very simple. You pick a class and we fill your deck with shifters and spells. Her. So no idea what's going to happen but because we're filling the deck with spells as well I do have a heartfelt tendency towards mage. I might be able to get things like I don't know maybe Kabbalist Tome for example is a card and then I can use spells to get more spells. Excellent. Uh, arcane intellect and stuff like that. So there might be some things I can do there. I don't know. This is going to be completely RNG and it's just all sorts of hilarity and fun. So we'll see how well it goes. Shall bring victory. Oh my god. Power. Oh my god. I want to see some of the spells. Show me some of the spells. No. Okay. Or don't show me some of the spells. Be that way. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. Oh, I start with three mana. That's useful. Well, I don't have C'Thun. So I feel like Snow Chugger it is. I guess the ability to freeze someone is not that bad. E. Oh, so I hope you guys have been having good weeks. Uh, I have been having a draining week. I have to admit. Okay, okay. Interesting. Mountain Giant, not very useful at the moment. Ooh, I could play Grove Tender and Arcane Missiles. That is a thing. Ah, uh, the great outdoors. That is a thing. Huh, I pick up a ship to Zeris. How amusing. Got it. Maybe I should have attacked him first, but the way it's worked out, I've saved damage on the snow chugger. So it was absolutely the correct call. Yeah, we'll run with that. So yeah, this week's been a bit draining and lots of stuff oh, has been happening me. as if it's been planned, but not that much uh, is going on. A lot of work is basically coming my way next week, and this week is the preparation for it. Right, what do I do here? Do I do that? And we keep him frozen and start summoning some murlocs. I think that's what we do. We'll see. How's everyone else been? It's been a very eventful week as well here. We have um, Wimbledon is going on at the moment, which is pretty exciting. Uh, we had Brexit last week, of course. Uh, which was, well, we'll see what happens there. Uh, I live in London, so from what I understand, we're basically becoming the new capital of Scotland, which means it's all fine, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, but it obviously has a lot of people in a reasonably big amount of, uh, ooh, what's going on? A reasonably big amount of worry. I am not playing Millhouse Monastery. I am, however, playing Frost Elemental. <laughs> So I'll tell you what, mate, we're going to keep you on ice for another turn. You don't even get to heal it, and we'll see what happens then. There was the argument to play Trade Prince, but if I played that, I wouldn't be able to kill off the Doom God. And admittedly, okay, he has to have a spell to kill it off because it's 8 health, but he could have one in the charge. I don't know. Okay, I have King Mukla. Oh, Obsidian Destroyer is very good, though. I'm never going to get to summon a Murloc, basically. But that's okay. Because the 1-1 one -one Scarab is all this one. No! I should have used that to take out the Corrupted Seer. The 1-1 one -one Scarab with Taunt won't end up winning us this game if I keep making mistakes like that. But that's fine, wouldn't worry about it. 
I may or may not have also come home from work by the pub. Uh, I couldn't possibly comment. <gasps> Mookla's champion is good. Mookla's champion is very good. Things have to be considered now. The problem is if he attacks and then hits a 5-7 to my 7 and then heals, now he's going to first. I'm pretty sure that's what he was thinking. To... Oh wow, okay, that's what I see. I see. Right, so I have the option of killing it with the Obsidian Destroyer, which is great. I can also kill that off, which is great. In fact, is there anything that isn't great? Not really. So we're going to play things that are great. All of this is great, and then to top it off, Ton, which is great. I'm also threatening lethal, and by the way, in case you couldn't guess it, that's pretty great. Who knows what secrets will unfold? Okay. And then... Hmm, that doesn't help him very much, does it now? No, no, no. GG, all right. Game number one. RNG to the max, but correctly, correctly, not summoning any Murlocs uh, from the Murloc Knight and playing the Obsidian Destroyer, which we correctly predicted would win us the game. I say that like that was super skill. It was making one decision in a game full of RNG. Yay! But for now, though, we've got five legendaries to own. Okay, four legendaries to. I see where this is. Rare! Got a rare! Got a rare. Mmm, tasty dust. I have quite a lot of dust up here, so I don't know what I should be trying to do. Let's go ahead and hop into another game. I think I've got something like five or six thousand dust. Uh, I don't currently have, from Whispers of the Old Gods, I haven't crafted Twin Emperor. So here's my question to you. Leave a comment on the bottom of the video. What should I craft if not Twin Emperor from the Old Gods expansion? Let me know. Khadgar versus Jaina. I just want to know what your absolute number one card is. Ooh, hello. I have cards, but I also have two mana and Flame Strike and Pyroblast really don't help me. So, let me see what other cards we have. Arcane Missiles, woo. We have a coin. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. It's fine. I'm playing against Walkie Dicky. And he's using his hero power to try to Obviously, got some pretty darn expensive minions. Water Elemental is rather excellent. Is rather excellent. So, we're going to play it on top. As we learned last game, uh, the ability to freeze things is a very good one. So, that's exactly what we're going to play. Wobbling Runs is fun, but I do not have the mana for it, sadly. Wow, really? Again? Hero power? Okay, I mean, I might just start building a board here. Violet Teacher would be an... I don't think Master Sword misses that good value. Pay Violet Teacher, on the other hand, with the ability to generate some tokens, would be excellent. I wish I could somehow keep keep with the Grove and silence something that he summons, but hey ho. There will be opportunities, I'm sure. And him using a flame lance on my menu definitely counts as good value to me. Hmm. trying to work out how bothered I am by that. I think the answer is not. So we're going to try and put pressure on him as quickly as possible. 
I'm not convinced he has spells that buffs this up. I am playing a mage. Not that worried. You have no blessing of kings to scare me with. Aha! Now, isn't that... because Gazler would actually be really good with the um, arcane missiles. I can't play both of them though, I have to make a decision. That does 8 damage, that does 9, so that kills off both. The question is what I do afterwards. Hmm. This is not that easy. And mm, let me see. We can't really kill anything, so maybe I do go get them. Am I being greedy? Yeah. I got all day. I'm being super greedy. But that's because he also has super no board. Wolf Ram Shield is a cool minion. Unfortunately, I'm not that convinced it's going to necessarily Still have to use that plus your hero power or both. And that's dying next turn no matter what you do. <gasps> Medic! Ooh. He's fighting. He is fighting. This guy is feisty, no doubt about it. Right. This is all rather useless right now. So I might actually have to pass. Slightly awkward. Oh, no, you it. Slightly awkward. Yeah, I don't really have anything else that's good, so I'm going to pass. I am not playing the junk bot. I'm not going to be reliant on mechs and play a 1-5 for 5 mana. Hit my face, so oh, we didn't hit my face. Oh, he cleared my board. He also has two cards left, though, so I'm not too concerned. Well, well then. I mean, well then. That's not that good a weapon at all. But I do basically permanently get a weapon, which I think is the only. The only other thing I could have done was play arcane missiles and try and get one damage onto the flame jungle and take it out with the weapon, but. This, you know, this could be uh, famous last words, but do I need to do that? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Oh, that's tempting. And by tempting, I mean, yeah. Uh, is there better, is there actually a better play? Frost Giant is pretty good. Observe and reflect. The problem is Prophet Velen's kind of excellent. Not all who wander are lost. So what we're gonna do. Or Azeroth! Let's kill that. Now I could kill that, but I think I can outrace him. So if I can outrace him. I should be He has two cards, and I've now put him within lethal range because my hero power does two damage. So he does have to sack stuff, and I will get the uh, the damage from him. So I'm reasonably pleased with that. Of course, if I kill him, then he only needs one removal spell to get rid of Prophet Velen as well. So I'd rather have done the damage. I bleed for so he's going to do that and take it out. That's fine. 
Oh, Pyroblast, hello. There's no reason not to play that now. But if for any reason he has... Uh, let me see, what saves him here? An antique heal bot, I suppose. Victory for Silvanus! You win. Oh, he, he didn't let me play Pyroblast! I wanted to play Pyroblast, but that's not fair. Yeah. Alright, one more game. We can do this. This has been really RNG, and I've gotten pretty lucky, actually, with my, uh, with my choices and my deck so far. Fingers crossed we get uh, game number three all Hunky Dory as well. And we get to go home this year. I say go home. I am home. Uh, but we get Kanga! to move off of stream a winner. Now we make a winner. Begin. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Unfortunately, this brawl does not contain an awful lot of knowledge. It contains an awful lot of dice rolling. Ooh. Wait. And by ooh, I mean no one ever uses Spellbender for anything. Except me. Lol. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. Greetings, traveler. He's like, what if? Uh oh, he's playing the value game. Ooh. Now I'm playing the value game. Wanted. Dead or alive. That could come in handy. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. That's the real question. Troxor! Troxor! I don't have very much, to be honest. Draw! Ah, oh yeah. That's kind of amusing. Force him to use the attack. <laughs> That's kind of funny. More shift hey, 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 You want to buy a funnel cake? Oh. This is, is pretty good. Iron for Grizzly is also pretty good. Right, we need some. That doesn't help me much right now. Hmm. Now, I have got Flame Strike next turn. Do I pass? If I play this, you take me out. We pass. That should be a fairly obvious indication that I have flame strike, but we'll see. To my side. Not yet. Always huffer. Always huffer. Right, so he's got five cards, all of seven. Boom. I that. Stop, bro. Uh uh. Uh uh. Jaro. <laughs> I think I tried to do that on the Rock Door Trog, and wasn't quite able to make it stick. Right, we do admittedly have to kill him rather quickly. Let's see what I get next turn. I think having some taunt up and then building a big board to kill him within three turns is probably I necessary. Serve the oh, fire dear. Lord. oh dear. Okay. He has a 
a point. Amusingly, I have Cthulhu that I can't use. The Bilefin Tidehunter might not be that bad an idea, just... Oh... Observe and reflect. How can I not? But I can't inspire. This is so annoying. I might actually have to play that, which is really frustrating. And I need to use this to get him to face because I need as many bodies as possible for when he triggers a spell. I basically need to keep the ooze alive. I'm so sad! This won't actually work because a spell plus uh, Flame Waker almost certainly takes out the more I can use. I'm, I'll be able to use it next turn. Oh well, what do you know? The joust ends in a draw. Who saw that one coming, eh? Down to t eight life. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna play that Confessor Pally. Oh, it's not here. Okay. So I need to play this in order to play that. Observe It's and time for a lot of blood. Right. The full-on attack starts oh, now. We have the board that might win us the game. However, we also have 8 health and we are playing a hunter. He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. He's looking for tracking. He wants... What does he want? Charge minions? That's not the world's most convincing card. I want six life though. Six life. <gasps> Palatris is back! Take this time to consider your past deeds. Palatris is back. Come on! Give me something good! I'll take Yogg. I'll take everything I can get at this point and we flash out. Flash him. Yes, I know I lose a bit of uh, health, but I basically want to get as much out of range uh, of literally anything he can play. I don't want him quick shotting. I need to be able to kill him with well, a turn. Yes! Come on! I should probably have not won that game. Uh, that did turn into board control fest. We got Palatris back. Yep. Happy days! Alrighty. So that does earn us three wins out of three at ShiftCon in the RNG Fest. I'm very pleased to get three wins out of three. Got a little bit lucky there. Guys, make sure you enter the competition to win yourself some Hearthstone cards for next week. Good luck to all of you. Don't forget to like and share the video and click subscribe on the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for that. I'll be seeing you next week for more Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. Take care.